welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing an all tech beer, or otherwise known as Kentucky Ale. This is Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale um, Pumpkin. So, Kentucky Pumpkin Barrel Ale. It's 10% alcohol by volume, uh, made in Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah, pumpkin beers. They come, out, they come out with this beer every year, as far as I know. Uh, at least they came out with it last year or the year before last. Um, it's a pumpkin beer. Gotta get a hard pour Yippee. on it. It's a high ABV. 10% is pretty beefy. It is actually. Well, yeah, their, their beers are. What, what are you doing? I was trying to get. I was trying to pour it hard so I could get ahead, but <laughs> that's all I got. I mean, their beers are usually pretty hefty. Um, the amount of. Um, looks like a 10% beer. Sediment in it is impressive. Yeah, that's very cloudy. There's lots of particulate. Heads off white. That's actually not bad. Very clove forward. Hit the pumpkin. Sort of smells like pumpkin pie. Yeah. It's it's kind of kind of pumpkin spice scented, but it's not like it's not beating you over the head with the concept of pumpkins. Of pumpkin spice, I mean to say. Mmm, pumpkin. A little bit bready too. Mm-hmm. It's a very pumpkin spice. <clears throat> mm. Yep. Woo! <clears throat> the clove is powerful. Powerful clove flavor in that one. That's that's a lot of pumpkin spice. Uh, it's a little bit. <clears throat> comes off as almost potpourri. Mmm. Yeah. Flavor. It's not quite there, but it's real close to being almost uh, too. Uh, Perfumey. That's the word I'm looking for. Perfumey. Yeah. With yeah. The, with the clove and the allspice. This doesn't taste. This doesn't taste like something you should be drinking. It tastes like something you should be like burning a candle. Yeah. It, it's very candle-esque. Um, it doesn't have a super hoppy presence in there. It's just sort of very clovey, little pumpkin, and then it doesn't taste like. Uh, it does not taste like 10%. I'll say that. So if you're really into pumpkin, it doesn't pumpkin taste beers. like 10% at all. It tastes like pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, if you like pumpkin spice stuff, right? You know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. into. It doesn't want to be anything other than a pumpkin spice beer. It really does not. It is aged in bourbon barrels. I'm not getting any barrel characteristics. It is kind of dark. It's like, darker colored, but. Hmm. Maybe. A tiny bit? I'm trying. It's not much. It's on the back end. There's like a vanilla-ness. vanilla, -ness, vanilla Yeah. It's not awful, but again, I'm not a huge pumpkin beer fan. And this one, like I said, comes off as perfumey. The clove is too... It's overpowering. Too much clove. Mm. Um, it's very powerful. It's very strong. That is an understatement. I don't... Um, I don't think I want to finish it. <laughs> Look, I, I, I can see, I can picture in my brain a person who would really enjoy this. Right. They look nothing like me. <laughs> yeah. There's always a lot of people during this time of the year that uh, tell us to review certain pumpkin beers. And, like, every time I try them, I'm just like, they all sort of taste the same. We had one really good one a couple of years ago. Yeah. It was just It was just, like, it had some pumpkin flavor. It didn't have any like pumpkin spice going mm -hmm. on. It just had like a hint of pumpkininess. Yeah, that was really good. Bring that back. Give me more of that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not digging this one that much. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this. I'm thinking it's really not bad. I'm gonna go with a five. I think it's a five. I think it's a fair five. Right. And I think for some people, the bit they taste it and they'd be like, wow, mm -hmm. those guys are stupid. Right. This is definitely an eight. But I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of people that taste this and go, oh, what? Oh, no. Um, if you're not a hop head, it doesn't have that characteristic to it. So yeah. it, your, your lady might like this. So anybody who's into pumpkin spice because it doesn't like i said it doesn't have that strong bitterness that turns a lot of people off yeah. from craft beer you know like a lot of people associate craft beer with bitterness and ipas but that is not all the craft beer has to offer 
And in this case, they do a good job of not adding a bunch of bitterness to it. So it does have yeah. a good appeal. Yeah. And being 10% is going to light some people up for sure. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to say get a single of it. I don't think, uh, you know, if you're into pumpkin spice, get a single of it. Make up your mind there and then move from that decision. Uh, I'm only going to recommend it if you're interested in pumpkin beers um, mm -hmm. and you really like clove because it is very strong in the clove department. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, mm -hmm. avoid it. Uh, price on this bad boy is, uh, I, I don't remember, it's a four and six packs, but I paid like three something for a single. I see most of their stuff in four packs. I'm, I'm, I would almost bet that this, came, that was, this comes in four packs. At, at 10%, I would imagine. Um, I really wish their beers came in cans. Two. They've always done bottles, though. It's always been their thing. Mm -hmm. Fun fact about Alltech: if you didn't know, they're actually a grain and dog food company first, mm -hmm. and then a brewery second. So they had they spent they used the spent grain, and then they use it as uh, for the making of the dog food and the cattle food and whatever else. Yeah, a lot of breweries, a lot of breweries and distilleries do that actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not getting behind this one. Yeah, uh, I mean, if I bought it, I'd finish it, but it's so very heavy. It is. All right, well, that has been our episode. If you would like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. I'm pretty sure.